Hi, I'm Justin Lima. I'm a paramedic and the EMS captain here at Harmony Fire Department. I'm here today to talk to you about our Stat Pack G3 Plus Profusion Bag, which is what we use currently for our first in uh, bag. Uh, we have a uh, carbon monoxide detector on the front, clip to it on the top. That will be our supplies that we use pretty much on most calls. Uh, we have a thermometer, shops, a dart, a uh, pair of trauma shears. There are um, patient data forms, the pen, pen light. There's actually a uh, headlamp uh, for those dark areas. We have a stethoscope. In here is our uh, blood glucose monitoring. Uh, in addition, we have our oral agents to treat hypoglycemia and a bag of um, D10 and a primary drip set. In this compartment, we're going to have our BVM and two CPAP, large and small, medium. We have a blood pressure cuff in the small mesh portion of the upper compartment. On the side, we can't fit all of the eye gels in to one side, so we have them one on one side, two on the other. This is a size three. And here we have both nasal cannula and inline end tidal monitoring. And here we have our calorimetric, which is um, useful for uh, when our crews are just BLS. They don't use the calorimetric on the uh, cardiac monitor. We have MPAs with lube. And this part down here to be a set of OPAs and we have adjustable peak that we can put on the end of our DVM. On this side, in the mesh portion, we have our masks and oxygen delivery devices. So we have a nasal cannula, oxygen tubing, non-rebreather, in nebulizer. This portion here, we have more entitled. And we have our inhalation medications, epinephrine 2.25%, duonebs, albuterol, and ipitropium bromide. They're all clearly marked, so we don't have them all combined. You don't have to hunt, although you do need to confirm that the proper medication was stored in the proper bag. We have our size five and four eye gels, and each eye gel has uh, lubrication attached, so you don't have to go hunting for that. In our main compartment, you can see that we have needles and syringe setups that are cryptically marked. Inside each baggie is marked. So you end up with your uh, ones, threes, fives, and tens. Ones, threes, fives, and tens. So you don't have to go hunting for those in a big pile of syringes as well as blunt fill in 18 gauge needles and 22 or 25 one, one and a half inch needles for IM injections. Under that, we have a 10 drop set, a liter of lactated ringers, and a pressure infusion bag. We have our medication module. This is from Stat Pack as well. We have an IV kit here, two 18s, two 20s, 114 and 116, one vasoconstricting van, two alcohol preps, two flushes, two two by twos, two bio occlusives, and some tape back here. There's also an IV kit here. All of our IV kits are, uh, IV kits are set up the same. Uh, most of them are in uh, these containers. Um, so if one person needs one on one side of the person, the other needs one on the other side, we have the ability to just uh, mobilize those from the bag. 
These are our meds that we predominantly use on cardiac arrest situations, the atropine, calcium, epinephrine, uh, lidocaine. We have a bag set up with an amiodarone 150 uh, and uh, fluid that we can hang for uh, ventricular tachycardia with a pulse. And on this side here is the actual medication module. We have um, adenosine, amio, epi, uh, Narcan, um, diphenhydramine, thiamine, ondansetron, solumedrol, and solucortef. In here we have our aspirin, uh, overflow of the uh, Narcan, and we have some oral agents in here. Uh, we have uh, Zofran, which is ODT, and uh, there's some pills in here that we keep. So that's our bag. The bag uh, can be worn as a backpack. Uh, so uh, there's uh, axial loading in the center of your spine as you're carrying it. So sometimes obviously we have to carry it into a house and other times we have to carry it into uh, maybe a wooded area or someplace that's remote. Uh, so that helps us as well. Uh, we have um, red and yellow. Uh, and this is all uh, reflective. I can show you that. Let's see. If you have any questions, let us know.